Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks, your YouTube channel dedicated to everything metal. This is part five of the Ultimate Metrology Center, putting it together. I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Metal Supermarkets, and there are more than 70 stores. When they contacted me and said they wanted to sponsor this channel, I was so excited because I know with their support, I'm going to be able to do bigger and better projects for you guys. So check them out on the web and find the closest location to you. It's time to talk about assembling the Ultimate Metrology Center. We're on the final stretch. We've had, we shot five videos so far, and the sixth one I think you guys will really like is I'm going to show you what's hiding inside all the drawers, all the cool metrology stuff. So that's going to be a fun one. So get ready. That one is number six, and that will be the final one. So first of all, I painted everything before I assembled. I'm not going to go into the whole painting process. That should be a standalone video and I will do that someday, but I will tell you the color that I paint this is Rust-Oleum Almond. You can get it at Home Depot. That's one of the things I like about it. The other thing great about it, I can get it in spray cans, so it's very, very versatile, and I think it's a great color for my shop. Before I could put the drawers in place, I wanted to put in this felt lining, and I went with this rust color. I think the rust is great because it's gonna hide dirt, which is important, but it also allows the tools to separate better. So imagine this. If I would have lined this with black and put in black tools, the tools are harder to see. And I bought several different colors and tried them, laid out the tools. Rust seemed to have been the best color to separate all the tools and see them easily. I know in my last drawers I had them set up on black, and I forgot about some of the tools I own. So, uh, so it's kind of nice to open these drawers, see everything easy. Putting the felt in was pretty easy. You lay it out over the top, cut it to a rough size, and then you use 3M77 spray mount to get it sticky and ready to put into place. When you lay this out over the top, you want to start in the center and work out towards the edges, bring it into the corners, and when you get to the corners, cut, trim, cut, trim, until everything starts to fit. And I'll be honest, I've got seven drawers here, and I think I did almost all of them a little different each time, trying to learn a better system. So don't get frustrated. Try something until it works. Drawer glides was really an interesting challenge. Now I've got full extension drawer glides. They're extra deep. I think these drawers are, what were they, 27 inches? This is one of the places I really screwed up on this whole thing, was I set up three posts at each side made out of steel because the whole thing's made out of steel. I'm thinking I have to stay with steel. To try to get all three posts coplanar is tough and also not only is it hard to get them lined up this way, it's hard to get them from twisting. What I really should have done was mount plywood on both sides and screw in and mount that way. It would have been a much quicker, easier, and just as effective system. It would not affect the strength of the weight that the drawers could hold. Now we gotta talk about the drawer faces. And this is actually mistake number two, which I want you guys to learn from is, I didn't account for the different gaps in here and what I wanted to do. And I didn't think the whole process out well enough. I set to a lot tighter tolerance than I could and actually had to take out one of the drawers to get just a little more gapping between these drawers. And what that also caused is an area for dust to infiltrate and get inside. And I wanted to avoid that. So what I ended up doing was going in with a rubber seal. And it's working really, really well, but it's an extra step that I didn't plan on. And it's a simple process. On the drawer itself, you spray mount, tape everything off, of course, spray mount, get the rubber, spray mount both sides of this. Remember, the drawer face itself was also spray mount. Then all assembled and lined up. Took a little bit of time, but the spray mount holds it really well until you're ready to put the handles in. And the handles are an anchor 
that helps hold the whole thing together. Pretty simple. Make your lines, draw it out, drill your holes, put the handles on. I will say I'm kind of disappointed in the corners here, and I kind of planned this was going to happen. Is there a little looser than what I'd like? So I do plan to go in and add extra screws all the way down and try to make it a more industrial look. So now the handles are all in place, so let's take it over and get it in place and put the granite surface plate on it. The reason I'm moving it all the way over to the other part of the shop is just to have a lot more room. But before we can put the granite surface plate on top of it, we need to put some cork down in all four corners. The cork there is to prevent the surface plate from cracking when you're installing it. So you don't want to go metal right up against the stone because it, it'll probably chip. So it's a simple process. You just tape it off, spray, cut the cork, put it in place, you're done. Next we have to put the pads on. Remember we built these in, uh, I think the second episode, built these pads, and we the same thing. We're going to use a 3M77 spray mount, put the cork on, cut the cork, put it in place, we're done. Excellent, it's ready to go, except for one more thing, is remember we're trying to keep the dust out. So I got some weather stripping from the hardware store, and we're gonna lay it down right on top and it's going to seal the base to the surface plate itself and protect dust from infiltrating there because I don't want to open these drawers and have it of dirt stuff that I don't want. And that I think that was a great, great solution. Made it really easy. The lowering down of the top is very stressful because we're sitting, we've got a very heavy object with very tight tolerances. I want to make sure that this top is not going to slide at all because if it has any momentum to slide, it can pick up momentum and just break through these corners. So it's a pretty tight fit. I'm going to bet that I have probably about a sixteenth inch, uh, maybe an eighth inch total all the way around. So it's a tight fit. So it's a very slow process bringing it down. But I got to say, it all fit and fit perfectly. Now it's time to just clean up the top and get ready to use it. This is the end of part five. Part six is what's in the drawers. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. Also give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Until next time, go out in your shop and build something cool. Thanks.